Can't pass up. He, he should knock that down. Second shot opportunity. And that one's good. Young's got eight. Well, every once in a while, he'll show us some pretty good moves around the hoop. And Walker kicks to Mozgov. He feeds it to Parsons. Lays it up and banks it in. He's got five. Man, a gaping hole in the defense that time, and he didn't waste any time getting through it. Robinson passes to Young. Young sets a screen for Robinson. Back to Young. The kick out to Anderson. Pulls up on the elbow. Misses off the right iron. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. A big part of last year's turnaround in Charlotte was the team's ability to get the close game wins. I mean, they did that in this building, and typically they just found a way. way to stay at it and never give up. Charlotte calls timeout. And for Charlotte, guys, you know, a lot of their 25 home wins were very close games, but they fought it out. Yeah, if you actually look at their point differential at home, you wouldn't think they were very good in this building, but they came up clutch and won a lot of close games down the stretch last year. Gerald Henderson, he's checked in for Hairston. And the Lakers with some changes. Parsons against Dang. Parsons dishes to Walker. Just five to shoot. Here's Diaw. The turnaround jumper. And the Hornets lead by six. Ah, the turnaround jumper. That was a thing of beauty. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find something, you're right. And it's Garnett penetrating. That is good. And now we can see them really working it inside. Yeah, taking advantage of the defense, really pounding it down low. Now here's Henderson. He has five. Here's Diaw. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got four assists in the game. Pass to Levine. Garnett with a screen on Walker. Outside Dang. Hill has the open look. Hits the target from 18 feet. Hornets leading by four. Now, here's Walker. He has six. And it's blocked. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Lakers trail by four. Hill is green on Walker. Levine. And that one is stuffed right through. Savage, that's that's the way to get some momentum on your side. Absolutely, those dunks can really have a deflating effect on the defense. Especially coming from a guy out of the backcourt. Here's Henderson. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Henderson's got seven points in the game. Los Angeles has gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Garnett with a screen on Walker. Garnett up top. No one near him. And that one hits back iron. 
There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. And Walker kicks to Parsons. The dish now to Diaw. And the layup's good off the glass. Six points for him. It was a slow start for him, but he started to take off since we hit the second quarter, guys. Garnett with the screen for Kobe. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Kemba Walker picks one up. Last season, a tough one for Kobe Bryant. He missed all but a handful of games. Early on, it was the Achilles tear he was rehabbing from. And then after six games, a fractured tibia took him out for the season. And he makes the first. And Kobe's shown that he can withstand age with a terrific individual season for him. You remember, Steve, back in 2012, 2013, and then, of course, the injury plague season last year. Yeah, so now the challenge, of course, is can he overcome age and injury? And that's the, the challenge this year. Only time will tell. But one thing we do know that nobody will work harder than Kobe Bryant. Charlotte calls timeout. Kobe Bryant... In his 19th season in the league, but remember, he's played in 220 career playoff games. That's almost three additional seasons worth of games. Then you factor in his play with Team USA. I tell you, he's got a lot of mileage on those legs. Now here's Walker. Six points for him. Now the feed to Parsons. Back to Walker. Shot clock at six. Here's Mozgov. You know, they've changed their game here in the second. Getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. And you know, this lead is going to grow if they can continue to get to the free throw line. The first one falls. He makes one of two that time. He did the important part at the line there, the heavy lifting, if you will. Made this a two-possession game. Levine kicks to Garnett. The shot no good. And it's the Hornets taking it the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Passes to Henderson. He kicks to Diaw. Here's the three. That's good. Diaw's got nine points now in the quarter. He's finally starting to get it going here offensively. Kobe passes to Deck. Lakers working the ball around now. Here's Garnett attacking. Rejected by Mozgov. It has not been an easy quarter for him. At least offensively speaking. Parsons dishes to Walker. Good. And now a 10 point Hornets lead. Uh, you gotta like his shot selection today. He set a, a good example for the rest of his teammates. A minute 42 left now here in the second. That's tipped and stolen by Parsons to the inside. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Boy, the kind of moments you love to see. 
excellent defense leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking. It's really explosive. High octane for sure. Oof. And turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities. That's what it's all about. The Lakers have hit most of their free throws tonight, five of six. Yeah, basically a middle of the road type free throw shooting team, about 76% a year ago. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area they just can't afford to get lazy with. You know, I think the effort's been there, Steve, but they're still getting outworked just by a scotch. Diaw, the screen. Lock at six. Walker goes in. And Charlotte again with the bucket. Tell you what, I can't argue with the result. But a little unnecessary to go to the off balance shot there. Levine kicks to Bryant. Shot to stop the drought. There's the block. Outside, Walker jacks up a three. Garnett grabs the board. Garnett's got four rebounds now tonight. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Kobe. Blocked. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. Difficult to explain that turnover. I mean, I guess he thought he had more room than he did, but he really lost his place on the court. From past the arc, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And that does it for the first half of play. Well, we're getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. We've seen Kemba Walker really having a great game. And all of a sudden tonight, he's become their big assist man. I mean, his passing was the key uh, to their offense in that first half, not something you always see. And that's not a role he usually plays, and one I'm not sure he's comfortable in, but they've needed him to make some plays today, and to his credit, he's done it. Perry in the backcourt, it's Walker and Henderson. Horace Diaw is out there with Mozgov. And it's Parsons in a, the small forward position. And that's the group for Steve Clifford as we begin the second half. That falls. Nice feed that time for Walker. Seven points for Chandler Parsons. You know, it wasn't really hard to see why the Lakers struggled so much last year. The talent was down, and also the defensive effort and focus was borderline embarrassing at times. And the Lakers call time here. As you said, with the Lakers last year, their defense was near the bottom in a lot of categories. Opponents averaged almost 110 points on them. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. Now, here is Robinson. Anderson is green on Walker. Robinson passes to Bynum. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Well, it was a bit of a mix between effort and planning and personnel for the Lakers and their defensive struggles. Well, they would give up the most points in the paint and fast break points over the course of the season. And if you give up easy chances like that, you're not winning. So a whole new group on the floor now for Charlotte. Pass to Harrison. The outside leaner. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Bynum's got his sixth rebound on the night. Lakers trail by 14. And Shumpert slams it in. Maybe that'll ignite him. I mean, impossible not to get pumped up after that. At least I think that would be the case. Well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are. Look at them. They are pumped up. Yeah, they're geek. That's what those alley-oops do, though. Lee is green on Shumpert. Hairston kicks over the watch. The baseline jumper goes down. And the Hornets lead by 14. 
Yeah, no problem knocking down that shot. And a little more damage inflicted on another defensive lapse. Bynum sets a screen for Robinson. Dishes it to Young. Shumper to screen on Kid Gilchrist. 